Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Instant Editor Masterclass, all about learning how to start your own digital magazine. So in this masterclass, we're going to go over three simple steps that you can use to start your own digital magazine right now, no matter where you are in the process. So if you've been feeling stuck about how to get started or what to do first, then this masterclass is for you. Today, I'm gonna to help you move closer to starting that digital magazine that you have always dreamed about using my exact beginner strategies that I use every time I go to start a new magazine. Now, I'm gonna need your full attention for this, so be sure to silence those distractions right now. Switch off your phone, close out your tabs, and give me the next 40 minutes to help you get closer to starting that digital magazine. Now, while you're here in the masterclass, be sure to share on Instagram stories and tag me at MiniMagKate so I can reshare with everybody else because you are about to do some really cool things. For those of you that showed up live here today, you are going to get this bonus just for doing so. It is my digital magazine start guide. Now, this has helpful tips to keep in mind as you're getting started, what to do first, things you might need, and you're going to get that today just for being here in this masterclass, so be sure to keep an eye on your inbox with the link to download your copy. Now, you might be wondering what this masterclass is even about and if this is for you. So, you're in the right place if you've always wanted to work for a magazine or you've dreamt about running a magazine. When I tell you, I literally used to tell my college professors that I wanted Anna Wintour's job. I have always wanted to work for a magazine. So if you're like me and working for a magazine or running a magazine has always been your dream, then you're in the right place. You're also in the right place if you just want to build an online business. You want to be the boss and starting a digital magazine sounds like fun. Or maybe you're just tired of waiting for your dream job and you want to do it right now. If you want to jump in and create your own dream job right now, then this masterclass is for you. You do not have to hope that you get those interviews at a magazine. You do not have to hope that one of these jobs pans out. You can start your own dream job as a magazine editor right now, and this masterclass is going to help you. Or maybe you wanted to be Miranda Priestly in The Devil Wears Prada. It's not a requirement, but I totally get it. So which one are you? Have you always wanted to be a magazine editor or run a magazine one day? Have you wanted to start an online business and digital magazines sound like fun to you? Or are you ready to take matters into your own hands and start your own dream job right now as a magazine editor? If any of these sound like you, then you are in the right place. Whatever your motivation is for being here today, I'm here for it and I'm ready to walk you through it. So at this point, you're probably wondering, who are you and do you even know what you're talking about? So hello, my name is Kate and I am the founder and editor-in-chief of two digital magazines, Mini Magazine, which is in the parenting space, and Tool Magazine, which is on weddings. I started both of these digital magazines over 10 years ago. Mini has won awards and I have gone on to consult for other magazines and even design some of them. I have been featured on Forbes, I am a mom of three girls, and I am a major, major Capricorn. I am a serial entrepreneur. I have probably been starting businesses since I was 10 years old. I started Mini and Tool all on my own, so this is not my first rodeo. So a little bit more about my background in digital magazines. So I have spent the last 13 years working in digital magazines. I started Mini in 2011 when I was a junior in college. And if you wanna talk about delusion, I am the poster child. So I started Mini when I was a junior in the journalism school. I had no knowledge of how things worked in the magazine space yet, but I was learning and I decided I was gonna start a parenting magazine. I had no kids of my own, no experience yet, but I decided I was just gonna go for it. At the time, there was a magazine called Cookie Magazine in the parenting space that had just folded. I loved the design of it, I loved the content, but after it shut down, there was just nothing else like it, especially in the digital space. So what I did in 2011, which was what we did back then, I started a Twitter account, and I started posting as if this magazine was a living, breathing thing, but I had done nothing yet. To my surprise, we had interest on day one, and that really got me going. I had the idea for Mini in April, and I bought two plane tickets to LA, to fly out there and shoot my first cover. Again, you wanna talk about delusion. I had never been to LA before. I had never produced a cover shoot before. I had no idea what I was doing. So I flew to LA, we shot our first cover, and I flew back to Chicago in the same day. 
After that, we launched our first issue of Mini in December of 2011 and garnered 10,000 views, which I thought was absolutely crazy. That was huge to me. I had no idea anyone was even going to read it, but we are still here 13 years later, and now Mini has amassed over 9 million views. And coupled with my other magazine tool in the wedding space, my digital magazine views are now over 13 million. A little bit about Tool. I started Tool in 2014 when I was engaged and I was putting all of my wedding inspiration into one place. Tool's very first issue garnered a million views. As of today, I have produced more than 80 digital magazines and we have a six figure subscriber list. So this is a picture of me at my very first magazine shoot in LA. I don't even recognize this person, but this just goes to show you all you need is a crazy idea and you can do this too. You guys, I am telling you, we started from the bottom and now we are here. You know, I had to do it. These are just some of the covers that I've produced over the years. Mini produces four issues a year and Tool produces two issues a year. We have produced covers with celebrities like Busy Phillips, Justin Baldoni, Kourtney Kardashian, and Tool has featured some of the biggest names in wedding photography. This is where I am right now and you can be too. I want you to picture this with me. I want you to close your eyes and imagine this. You've added editor-in-chief to your list of accolades or your business card. What would it feel like to tell people that you run a magazine? What would it feel like to tell people that you started a magazine and this is your job? You are a magazine editor. What would it feel like to watch your subscribers grow? I have done that. I have gone from zero to over 100,000 subscribers and you can do that too. What would it feel like to start to make an income from the content that you share on your pages? What would it feel like to have brands that you love and admire be advertisers inside of your magazine? What would it feel like to have PR boxes show up on your doorstep because these brands want to get inside of your issues? All of that is possible with digital magazines. Creating and launching your own digital magazine is a powerful way to turn your passion into profit, produce content your subscribers love, and grow a brand that people will recognize. So here's the plan for this masterclass. We are going to go over how to choose a topic and I will give you tips on how to narrow that down. We're gonna go over how to choose your name. I have a very fun and quick exercise that will help you narrow down a list of names. We're gonna talk about how to show up online even if you have nothing started yet. Trust me, that's what I did and I'm gonna show you how to do it. And then we're gonna talk about next steps to get this magazine launched. So here we go. Let's start with step one, how to choose your topic. I'm sure if you're in this masterclass, you probably already have a topic swirling around your brain, but let's narrow that down. A great place to start when you're trying to choose a topic for your magazine is to choose a passion. What do you love? What could you talk about for 15 minutes at a time without having to research anything? Maybe it's not even your job right now. Maybe it's just something you're very passionate about. Could you start a digital magazine on that topic? Choose what you know. Do you have a degree in something specific? What is your background in? Again, choose what you know. What could you talk to someone about for 15 minutes right off the cuff without having to research? And lastly, choose what's missing. This is exactly what I did. So I chose a magazine in the parenting space because that was missing in the market. Ask yourself where you notice a void in the market, especially in digital magazines. What do you feel like there should be a digital magazine on, but there just isn't right now? Or maybe you could take a different spin on something that's already out there. Maybe there's a vibe you're going for that you know other people would love to. Ask yourself what's missing and then fill that void. So some popular topics for digital magazines are wellness, music, business, food, real estate, fashion, fitness, outdoors, crafts or DIY, your local city or your area, weddings, and photography. And these are all pretty broad topics, so go a little bit deeper. Maybe it's yoga. Maybe it's knitting. Maybe it's film photography specifically. You know, maybe it's not just business. Maybe it's for business women. Maybe it's not just food. Maybe it's vegans. You can take all of these topics and go a little bit deeper to find your specific niche. Now we're going to move on to step two, which is how to choose your name. This is very important. This is going to define your whole brand for years. This can also be a very tricky subject because we want to make sure that we are choosing a name that is not already in existence. So let's do a quick exercise that is going to help you choose your magazine name. 
So once you've chosen your topic, like we did back in step one, I want you to take five minutes to write out every word that you associate with that topic. I want you to write every single word. Do not edit anything right now. Just set a timer, pour it all out onto the page, and we will narrow it down after. I don't want you to stop yourself in this exercise and say, oh, I don't like that word. Not right now. We will worry about that later. So just set your timer, write every word out that you associate with that topic, and we'll edit this afterward. So for instance, if I was starting a magazine in the photography space, I'm going to write down film, lens, aperture, write down every single word that you associate with that photography topic. Okay. Are you ready? Set your timer for five minutes. Let's go. After your five minutes is up, now we're going to move on to narrowing it down. Now I want you to cross out any words that you don't like as magazine names. Maybe you don't like the vibe, you don't like the connotation, whichever names you do not like, just cross those out. So from this edited list that you have crossed out, I want you to choose your top five names. Make a list in a separate column of your top five, and then we're going to take a closer look. Now that you have your top contenders, your top five, we're going to do a simple Google search to make sure that it's not already taken. So open a new tab. We are going to type your magazine name plus magazine. So for instance, if Lens Magazine was at the top of my list, if I was in the photography niche, I'm going to type Lens Magazine, and we're going to see if that is already taken. Here is the caveat with that. It has to be in the same industry for it to be considered taken. If I do my Google search for Lens Magazine and I see a magazine already called Lens Magazine in the photography space, that is taken. We cannot use that. If I see something called Lens Magazine, but it's in the fashion space, that's a different story. It does get a little bit tricky, but let me give you an example here. So I started Mini Magazine. My Mini Magazine is in the parenting space. There is another Mini Magazine that is on Mini Cooper, the car. These are magazines in two very different industries where no one is going to confuse one for the other. You can technically have a magazine by the same name as another one if they are in two separate industries. So no one would say, oh, I mistook mini magazine, the parenting magazine for the car magazine. There should be no confusion. In my specific case, there is no confusion because I write on parenting content and they write about cars. It does get a little bit dicey there, but that is how you can technically use the same magazine name if it is in a separate industry. If you notice that the magazine name that you like is already taken in your Google search, just cross it out. We're not going to go there. We're going to move on to something else. So now we've chosen a topic and we've chosen a name. I want you to look at these two covers. These are two covers that Mini Magazine has produced, this cover with Ashley Tisdale and this cover with Leah Michelle. This is what is possible when you choose your niche and choose your name and you get started in digital magazines. Now we move into step three, which is how to show up online. Even if you have nothing started yet, I want you to start to build your online presence because this is how you're going to grow your brand. Once you have chosen your magazine topic and your name, I want you to go on all social media platforms where you plan to post. It doesn't need to be all of them. Maybe you just choose TikTok and Instagram, but wherever you plan to post, I want you to go secure your social media handles. For example, maybe you're choosing Lens Magazine like we talked about. I'm going to go to Instagram and I'm going to lock down at Lens Magazine. I want you to do the same thing with your website domain. You're going to start to build your website, so we need to do a simple search to find out which domain is available for your magazine. You can lock down one or many versions of that domain. So for example, I own mini-magazine.com because mini-magazine.com is taken by the Mini Cooper people. So you can have lensmagazine.com, you can have lensmagazine.co, whatever version of your domain name you would like to have, I want you to go lock it down right now. The third thing you're going to do to start showing up online is to begin posting. Keep in mind, you do not need to have a finished issue to begin posting on social media, but you do need to make those posts to start to grow your audience. Back in 2011, when I started a Twitter account for Mini Magazine, I did not have any single piece of that magazine done, but I started showing up online, making those posts, growing my audience, finding advertisers, 
you need to start showing up and making those posts in order to grow your reach. This is how I found out that my magazine would even be viable because we had interest on day one. So start posting and see where it goes. This is a great place for you to kind of test the waters. Now, let me ask you a question. Are you ready to make that magazine a reality? Are you ready to take your idea and turn it into a finished issue? I know that seems overwhelming and there are a lot of steps in between, but how would you like me to personally walk you through the entire process? You really have two choices here when it comes to starting your digital magazine. So you can one, figure it out alone, which can be incredibly tedious and confusing, or two, do you want to learn from a pro who has done it all before? I have over 13 years of running digital magazines, starting them, running them, managing every single aspect of them. You can learn from me or you can go it alone. There is so much information available to you on the internet, yes, but I will tell you right now, not all of it is relevant. You don't need to do every single thing that you will find. When you choose to learn from a pro, I am offering you a quicker, more efficient path to starting that digital magazine and getting it off the ground. I did not have anyone to ask my questions to when I started my digital magazine. I did not have the roadmap, but that is why I am here sharing it all with you so that you guys know what to do and in which order. So with that said, I would like to personally invite you into the Editor Academy. The Editor Academy is the most comprehensive course for starting a digital magazine. With the Editor Academy, you can stop thinking about that magazine you've always wanted to start and actually make it happen. Inside the Editor Academy, I will show you how to go from concept and design to marketing and monetization, and you will gain the knowledge and skills necessary to turn your vision into a successful digital magazine. Here's just a quick peek at what's inside. So we're going to lay the foundation in the beginning. We're going to go more into depth on how to choose your topic, how to choose your name, the steps that will lay the foundation for your digital magazine. We're going to go over the key decisions that you need to make in your business. We're going to go over how to plan content, how to plan your issues. What sections are there going to be? How do you plan your features? How do you contact people? What do you say? How do we find their contact information? How do we coordinate those interviews? We're going to move into design. How do we design a magazine? How do we lay out our stories and our features? What software do we use? I don't know how to lay out a magazine. How do I use that software? I will show you. Inside the Editor Academy, you have tutorials available to you that will walk you through designing your first issue in multiple softwares. Maybe you want to lay out your magazine in Canva. Maybe you want to use Adobe InDesign. I will show you how to do both. How do we upload our magazine? How do we publish our magazine? What software do we use? How do we get it to our readers? I will show you how to do all of that inside of the Editor Academy. One of the biggest aspects of running a digital magazine is marketing. How do we find readers? How do we get our magazine in front of our readers? I have a very specific strategy that I use for finding new readers even while I sleep, and I share that with you inside of the Editor Academy. And of course you want to start to profit from your pages. How do we turn this into a business? How do we monetize our magazine? There are scripts inside of the Editor Academy that you can use to send to brands to pitch advertising. How do we incorporate affiliate marketing? How do we start to make money from the traffic that we drive to our website? These are all just a few of the things that you're going to find inside of the Editor Academy. Now, you might be thinking, this is all great, but have you had any success from the Editor Academy? So let's take it from my students. My student, Allie, says, so much info and content that I am finding to be so useful and inspiring. People have asked me for years how I started my magazines and how I've grown them and built them up to the level that they're at today, and I have poured all of that into the Editor Academy. So she is not lying when she says there is so much info and content in here because I have given you everything. 13 years of experience and trial and error and scripts and guides, it's all in here. Another one, nobody else is doing this. My student said she did a Google search to find a course on how to start a digital magazine and came up with nothing. This is the course. This is the most comprehensive course on starting a digital magazine. Nobody else is doing this. This is my student, Nadia. She is the editor-in-chief of Chatworthy Magazine, which is a trends-focused magazine where influencers take center stage. So Nadia says, this course has completely changed the way I operate. It's like the magazine Bible at this point. 
So Nadia came to me with a magazine already started. She was already running Chatworthy Magazine when she started the Editor Academy, but this course completely changed the way she was doing things. The Editor Academy has given her an entirely new system to really grow her magazine. So now let's dive a little bit deeper into what you're actually going to put into place inside of the Editor Academy. Inside, you will nail down your magazine topic. If you're still having a hard time deciding on a topic, I am including a list with available topics that you can choose from. You will choose your magazine name. If you're finding it difficult finding a magazine name that is available in your specific niche, we are going into it inside of the Editor Academy. Inside, I have compiled a master list of over 60 available magazine names in various niches that you can choose as your own. I did the research on this so that you don't have to. There are over 60 names on this master list that you can choose from to get your magazine started. Inside of the Editor Academy, you will learn how to plan your first issue content. What sections should there be inside of your magazine? How do you coordinate those interviews? I am walking you through how to do all of that. I am including my exact spreadsheets that I use to map out my issue content, my website content. You're getting all of that inside of this course. And you cannot launch a digital magazine without learning how to design it. I am showing you how to lay out your covers, how to lay out your features, what softwares to use, video tutorials to walk you through every single step. There are cover templates, article templates, things you can use to just plug and play your own content to start your magazine. You do not have to be familiar with any of these softwares. We are laying it out in these tutorials so that you can go step by step and make it happen. You will learn how to find and market to your readers. Again, I have a very specific strategy that I use to find readers for my magazine even while I sleep, and I am sharing that with you. My magazines have a six-figure subscriber list. How did I get there? I'll show you with the strategy. How do people find my website articles? How do we show up in search? This is all included in the marketing section of the Editor Academy. And maybe most importantly, you are also going to learn how to monetize your magazine, how to include affiliate links, how to pitch advertisers, since I have done this for over 13 years, I am going to show you how to make money with your magazine doing what you love. People ask me all the time, do digital magazines even make money? I am here to tell you that they do. That is why I have designed an entire section of this course just on monetization. In the very last module of this course, you are going to learn how to launch your first issue. I will help you go from idea to finished product inside of this course. We are going from concept to the finale, walking you through every single step in between to get your magazine off the ground. And I'm sure you're wondering right now, okay, Kate, that sounds fantastic, but what does it cost? What does it cost to secure your spot inside the Editor Academy? So with everything that is included inside of the Editor Academy, from the bonuses and the guides to the scripts and the templates, it is a value of almost $4,000. But you can join the Editor Academy right now for $14.97. 1497 secures your spot inside of the Editor Academy for life. You have lifetime access. That means you get to go through the course at your own pace and you will never be behind. You can go back and reference the lessons and use the guides and the scripts and the templates for life. 1497 secures your spot with lifetime access inside the course. So you can get started today inside of the Editor Academy with one payment of $14.97, but if that's not doable right now, and I totally get it, you can also get started for 12 payments of $137. We have a payment plan available, which means you can get into the Editor Academy right now for one payment of $137 and then 11 payments of $137 to follow. That means you're spreading out the cost of the Editor Academy over an entire year. So again, one payment of $14.97 or 12 payments of $137. If you're ready to get started and this all sounds good, great, and fantastic to you, you can go to theeditoracademy.com and learn all about the course and click enroll. So let's go over everything that you are getting inside of the Editor Academy, what you can expect from the complete program. So inside, you're gonna go from idea to launching your first issue. Everything that comes in between. There are video lessons and PDF guides and scripts and contracts and documents and templates. Everything that I've used to start a successful magazine is inside this course. You're gonna get bonuses like the Pinterest Magazine Marketing Guide. This is what I use to drive thousands and thousands of new readers to my sites while I sleep. 
This is something that I implemented years ago, and now Pinterest is our number one traffic driver. Inside of that bonus marketing guide, I am giving you a step-by-step -step checklist of what to do so that you can start to drive those thousands of readers to your websites just like I did. And probably the best part of the entire program is that you have lifetime access. You will never be behind in the Editor Academy. You can start this today or you can start this next month. It is yours for life. So if you join now, you will get this fast action bonus, which is my Pinterest magazine marketing guide. This is what I just told you drives thousands and thousands of new readers to my websites every month. And you're going to get that right now when you join the Editor Academy. Inside of this guide is a daily posting checklist that's going to boost your organic traffic at no cost to you and drive thousands of new readers to your magazine. This is available to you if you join the Editor Academy right now from this masterclass. Maybe this all sounds exciting to you, but you still have some questions, so let's talk about it. What happens if you get stuck? You want to be able to troubleshoot that with me, and you can because when you join the Editor Academy, you get access to our exclusive Q&A board and student community to ask your questions and get answers and make sure that you can move forward with both clarity and confidence. You can post your question and I will give you the answer. That is why we have this entire Q&A board so that as you're moving through the course, if any questions come up, you will be able to get answers. What if you get stuck on how to design your first issue? You don't know how to lay it out, what's gonna look good, what you should do, but when you join the Editor Academy, in addition to those design tutorials and two softwares, you will be able to jumpstart your magazine with over 10 magazine cover templates that are already designed for you. This is a $97 value that comes with the course. I created these cover templates on a variety of topics, so fashion, food, wellness, and you can gain access to those today. And the best part is that when we design more cover templates and we add more of them to the vault, you will gain access to those too. This is all included for you inside of the course. You can literally drag and drop your own content, your headlines, your images, your logo, just plug and play and you already have a cover ready to go. Okay, but what if I don't have an audience yet? That is all included inside of the Editor Academy. You will learn how to start to grow your audience from the beginning with easy steps, plus a marketing guide that's going to bring you readers while you sleep. I'm going to walk you through step-by-step step so that you can go from nothing and grow your magazine into the six figures just like I did. This bonus right here is really what's gonna help you start to grow your audience. And you're gonna get it today as a fast action bonus when you join the Editor Academy. This is a step-by-step -step posting guide just for magazine editors to learn how to build their audience and grow their reach. My magazines decided to get really serious about Pinterest a couple of years ago, and this guide is everything that I've learned, all of the steps that I took to turn Pinterest into our top traffic driver. It's all inside of this guide, and I am including it just for you today as a fast action bonus when you join the Editor Academy. So let's go over how much it costs to get started again. So you can join the Editor Academy today for one payment of $14.97. Again, you guys, everything included is a value of almost $4,000, but you can get started today for one payment of $14.97 or 12 payments of $137. If you wanna jump on that payment plan, again, you can join the Editor Academy today for $137. 137 will get you in today and then you will have 11 payments of 137 to follow. You're spreading out the cost of the Editor Academy over an entire year. Or the other option is that best value option, one payment of $14.97. Each one of these options gets you into the Editor Academy today. Now let me show how you can enroll today so quickly and easily just from where you're watching this masterclass. So where you're watching this video, if you just scroll down, you're going to see those two options to join the Editor Academy. You're going to see pay in full and pay in 12. You can click those enroll now buttons to gain access into the Editor Academy. From the editoracademy.com, you can click pricing from the top navigation bar and you're going to see a screen like this. So again, choose your payment option, one payment of $14.97 or 12 payments of $137. So let's remember, you showed up here today for a reason, probably because you've always wanted to start a magazine and you wanna know how to get started, what to do next. You are tired of going it alone and trying to figure this stuff out for yourself. You wanna learn from someone who's done it before. You have a dream just like I did. You wanna start a magazine and you wanna know how to get it going right now. Maybe you've always dreamt about working for a magazine one day or of running one yourself and you wanna know what to do first. Maybe you want the freedom to work on your own time. I do this right now as a job and I have for 13 years and I get to make my own schedule. 
I started a business that I wanted to be in, and now I have the freedom to work on my own time and create my own schedule. If you're like me and you want to start an online business and magazines sound like fun, then this is for you and you're in the right place. Maybe you don't want to wait for your dream job anymore. Maybe you're interviewing at magazines, print or digital, and you're just not hearing back. You're tired of waiting for that job to come to you, but you don't have to wait anymore. You can take matters into your own hands right now and start your own magazine. No one needs to hand it to you. You can do it yourself. You do not have to wait anymore. You can get started today for that one payment of $14.97 or 12 payments of $137. No matter what payment option you choose, that one payment or 12 payments, either one is going to get you started on your journey to becoming an editor-in-chief. But Kate, I don't know where to start. I'm so overwhelmed. And let me tell you that you do not have to worry. I have been there before. We go step by step inside the Editor Academy. Remember, I didn't have a roadmap when I started my career as a digital magazine editor, but with this course, you do. This is exactly why I put this together. People have asked me for years how I've done this, how I built my magazines, how I started them, how I've grown them to where they are. And this is exactly why I put it together so that I can show you how you can do it too. Okay, but what if no one reads my magazine? I want to start a magazine, but I don't know if anyone's even going to read it. I have been there too. I didn't think anyone would read my magazine when I started either. I thought it would maybe just be my mom. But to my surprise, at the end of the month, there were over 10,000 views on this magazine that I started. Now my magazines have amassed over 13 million views, and I will show you how I did that. Just sit with that for a minute. How would it feel to start a magazine and then watch it grow to millions and millions of views? How would it feel to see people post on social media that they love your magazine and then see them subscribe? How would it feel to watch that subscriber list grow into hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands of readers? I'm not making this up. This is something that I did and I am showing you how to do inside of the Editor Academy. I know more than anyone that it is so easy to think that no one will read your magazine, but this is exactly why we go step by step inside this course. So let's go over this one more time on how you can get started today. You can get started for one payment of $14.97, but if that's not doable and I totally get it, you can also get started for 12 payments of $137. That means you will get in today for $137 with 11 more monthly payments to follow. You can pay in full and get the best value at $14.97, or you can spread it out over the entire year with 12 payments of $137. Whichever payment option you choose, whichever one makes the most sense for you, you are going to be well on your way to starting your journey as an editor-in-chief. And I've made it super simple to enroll right where you're watching this masterclass. So right underneath of this video, scroll down and you'll see those two payment options. You can choose that one payment of $14.97 or those 12 payments of $137 from the editoracademy.com. If you wanna go there and learn more information about the course, what to expect, what you'll find, testimonials from my students. You can click on pricing from the top navigation bar and you will see a screen like this, again, with your two payment options, one payment of $14.97 or 12 payments of $137. Either option is going to get you into the course right now. So that is it, my friends. We can make you an editor-in-chief right now when you join the Editor Academy. Inside this course, we are going to take you from concept, the idea that you have for starting this magazine, and by the end, you will have finished your very first issue. Thank you so much for watching this masterclass and I hope to see you inside of the Editor Academy.